As an only child with left-wing Jewish parents, Brian had finally moved out of the family home almost six months ago. Had he stayed there any longer, he might well have murdered both of them in their sleep. The thought reminded him of the famous definition of the Yiddish word chutzpah by the Jewish author Leo Rosten. Chutzpah, he had written, can be defined as the son who murders his parents and then claims mercy from the court on grounds of being an orphan. That's chutzpah. His parents weren't especially religious, but like all Jewish parents, they possessed that peculiar Jewish gene. You know the one. The Jewish obsessive compulsive disorder one that meant they couldn't stop themselves from picking up the phone and ringing him every two minutes. Brian, tell me, how's the flat? It's not a flat, Mum. It's a room. And it's, well, it's small. I hope it's clean. You know, you can get terrible things in small flats. Lawrence's boy had cockroaches. Can you imagine? They had to get the environmental health people down. And then they discovered black mould. And black mould is the worst. It can kill you. No, I don't have any black mould, Mum. It's very clean. Well, cleanish. And you'll be pleased to know that I haven't seen any cockroaches. Of course you haven't seen any cockroaches. They only come out at night. Anyway, I hope you're eating properly. Well, it's funny you mention that. I'm finding it very difficult to eat at the moment. What do you mean you're finding it hard to eat? Morris, he's finding it hard to eat. Brian could hear his father in the background stumbling around. What do you mean you can't eat? Your father says, what do you mean you can't eat? Well, every time I try to eat, the phone rings and it's you and Dad. Well, that's nice. That's how he treats us, for caring. We're your parents, Brian. Of course we're concerned about you. It's only natural. Anyway, your dad wants to have a word. All right, Mum. Oh, and I hope your first day of work goes well. Maybe you'll meet a nice Jewish girl there. Hello, son. Hi, Dad. Tell me, are there any radiators in that flat? Uh, yes, there is a radiator in the room, Dad. Does it need bleeding, Brian? You can't trust these landlords. If it needs bleeding, you'll freeze to death. I can bring over a radiator key if you don't have one. Uh, no, it, it, it doesn't need bleeding, Dad. It's perfectly fine. It's hot. It's really hot. Ouch! Ouch! I just touched it. Oh, don't do that. You'll burn yourself. Now, I wanted to tell you that I've just sent some thermal vests in the post. Thermal vests? What would I want thermal vests for? Do you never listen to the weather forecast? We're in for a very cold spell next week and I don't suppose you have double glazing. Uh, no, I don't have double glazing. Well, there you are. Susan, he doesn't have double glazing. What did I tell you? And so it went on.